Hi, I'm Calvin from Technical Wiz. This is a portable satellite system that we provide to our clients. Parts that are required are some tent pegs here, a clear set satellite finder, an elevation guide, a compass, instruction book with the charts, a 1 meter cable, a 10 meter cable, a satellite dish with an LNB, and last of all, a tripod. First of all, we get the tripod level by getting the bubble in the centre centre level there by adjusting the legs using the wing nuts. We'll then put the satellite dish on the tripod itself. And turn the wing nuts firmly enough so you can still rotate the dish. Then using the charts in the book and the compass, on the Sunshine Coast we aim for Magnetic North and near enough is good enough in this situation. The next step is to adjust the elevation. On the Sunshine Coast we're at 60 degrees, so we put the satellite dish on there and move the dish accordingly. level and the other adjustment is the skew with the LNB on the front here on the Sunshine Coast we're at plus 35 degrees and you can rotate that clockwise and anti-clockwise as required as per the charts and the instruction manual. We'll now connect up the 10 metre cable to the van or trailer The other end will go into the satellite finder at the receiver end. You'll see it start to turn on. And then we'll connect the other end to the LNB with the one meter cable going from satellite to the satellite dish itself. I normally poke it through the dish here to keep the satellite finder off the ground. And we do the connection up finger tight. Uh, we never use spanners or anything on the system. And now we'll begin our alignment process by pressing the OK button once. And then one more time. The LNB load will come up, and that's an indication the LNB is working okay. And our aim is to get the quality bar as high as we can, and that will improve once we've found the satellite dish. We'll slowly scull up the sky to the left and the right, and see if we can get the bar to rise. If you don't get any movement, slowly raise the dish by a couple of degrees, and re scull up the sky. So now that I've found it, I'll try and peak that by going up and down a little bit. And then I will check the skew on the LNB, confirm that's maximised as well. Then we'll lock it all off, keeping the meter connected to make sure you haven't bumped the dish while you're doing so. We'll now disconnect the ClearSat finder and connect the 10 meter cable directly to the LNB. And now you should have the last channel that you're on inside or to be scanning through the channels right now.